the starting point of all achievementist desire, keep this constantly in mind, weak desire brings weak results. Just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat, when defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound. Rebuild those plans and set sail once more toward your coveted goal. You are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct, and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. Before success comes in any man's life, he is sure to meet with mock temporary defeat. And, perhaps, some failure when defeat overtakes a man. The easiest and most logical thing Toto is to quit. That is exactly what the majority of men do. More than five hundred of the most successful men. The easiest and most logical thing to do is to quit. That is exactly what the majority of men do. More than 500 of the most successful men this country has ever known told Thuther. Their greatest success came just one step beyond the point at which defeat had overtaken them. Set your mind on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. The way of success is the way of continuous pursuit of knowledge. Happiness is found in doing, not barely processing. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. An educated man is not necessarily one who has an abundance of general or specialized knowledge. An educated man is an who has so developed the faculties of his mind that he might acquire anything he wants or its equivalent without violating the rights of others. Every adversity, every failure, every heartbreak carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. More gold had been mined from the mind of men than the earth itself. Opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth. Everyone has a flock of opinions ready to be wished upon anyone who will accept them. If you are influenced by opinions when you react decisions, you will not succeed in any undertaking. We refuse to believe that which we don't understand. I will eliminate it toward envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity because I know that a negative attitude toward others can never bring my success, I will cause others to believe in me, because I will believe in them and in myself. To win the big stakes in this changed world, you must catch the spirit of the great pioneers of the past, whose dreams have given to civilization all that it has of value, the spirit that serves as the lifeblood of our own country, your opportunity and mine to develop and market our deliance. Put your foot you ponth neck of the fear of criticism by reaching a decision not to worry about what other people think, do, or say. There is a difference but when wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it no one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it. The state of mind must be belief, not mere hope or wish. Open-mindedness is essential for belief. One who is love truly can never lose entirely. Love is whimsical and temperamental. Its nature is ephemeral and transitory. It comes when it pleases and goes away without warning, accept, and enjoy it while it remains, but spend no time worrying about its departure. 
Worry will never bring it back. Perhaps we shall learn, as we pass through this age, that the other self is more powerful than the physical self we see when we look into a mirror. There are no limitations to the mind except those that we acknowledge. Helen Keller became deaf, dumb, and blind shortly after birth. Despite her greatest misfortune, she has written her name indelibly in the pages of the history of the great. Her entire life has served as evidence that no one is ever defeated until defeat has been accepted as reality. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by self. Those who succeed in an outstanding way seldom do so before the age of forty. More often, they do not strike their real pace until they are well beyond the age of fifty. Tell the world what you intend to do, but first show it. This is the equivalent of saying deeds and not words are what count most. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Remember too that all who succeed in life get off to a bad start and pass through many heartbreaking struggles before they arrive. The turning point in the lives of those who succeed usually comes at some moment of crisis, through which they are introduced to their other selves. Neglecting to broaden their view has kept some people doing one thing all their lives. Remember that it is not the lawyer who knows the most law, but the one who best prepares his case who wins. If, and this is the greatest of them all, I had the courage to see myself as I really am, I would find out what is wrong with me. And. Correct it, then I might have a chance to profit by my mistakes and learn something from the experience of others. For I know that there is something wrong with me, or I would now be where I would have been if I had spent more timidizing my weaknesses and less time building galibus to cover them. If you give up before your goal has been reached, you are a quitter. A quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. Lift this sentence out. Write it on a piece of paper in letters an inch high, and place it where Yah will see it every night before you go to sleep, and every morning before you go to work. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel.